Good afternoon everyone, it's Stephen Hodson from WinExtra bringing you another one of our software unboxings. Uh, the reason you're actually seeing a full screen instead of the typical just dialogue is because basically the program, I, I got to show the whole screen for you to be able to see it. What we're going to be highlighting today is uh, Object Doc from Stardoc, stardoc.com. There are two versions of the of this utility. There is the free version, which gives you this nice dock down at the bottom of your screen, or at the side, or the top, wherever you end up wanting to finally set it up. But what we're the one we're looking at is the plus version, which also gives you this nice handy little configurable um, folder bar, really more than anything else because you can create additional folders for example you could create one for the internet in which you could have the uh, launch links for all your browsers it could have any other the software that you use while you're on the net it could hold its links as well uh, say for example media you could have uh, the link to you know Winamp or even your favorite uh, online media streaming sites like Spotify which we don't get in Canada um, or Pandora uh, so yeah that's that's pa also part of the uh, plus pack now it's fairly simple to use uh, it's just a matter of uh, it will automatically detect which programs are running and it will typically use the programs exe icon uh, some won't, for example here, for some reason it doesn't pick up the Zune icon, I don't know why. Um, you can also enable the option to show what's running in your system tray. Uh, basically it is very, very simple, just go to the view one and show system tray icons. There you can see it's gone. Um, let's bring it back. Now you can also configure your system tray icons or notification tray as some people like to call it. Um, any application is registered with a notification tray area you can enable it to show all the time on the object dock. Very simple just click you want it there, you don't want it there, so on and so forth. Um, you can add your own shortcuts. Uh, you can, as you can see, it comes with some predefined ones that you can do, or you can uh, create a blank one, which you can then point towards a program of your choice. You can select the icon, give it a title, and it will then get displayed on your object dock. Um, setting it up. The setup uh, dialog can be gotten at in, in the plus version, you know, either of two ways, by right-clicking on the object dock itself and clicking on settings, or going up here to programs and configure object dock. Now, as you can see, there's a two, two that exist. You can also create new docks. So, for example, let's say I wanted an additional dock for some reason that would sit over the side here. I could do that. Now to modify any of the settings, um, just click on the one you want to work with. Uh, it shows here you can add add them. It show it gives you a little help area where you know how to edit your doc. Uh, you can indicate whether you want to show running out uh, applications, uh, show all open windows, show minimized windows, so on and so forth. Um, again, the, we have the system tray options. Position, again, you can select which, which area of the screen you want the dock, dock to. 
Oh, funny, funny. You can, if you're running a multi-monitor setup, uh, you can select which of your monitors that you want it to run on. So, for example, I could have a dock on this one, and then I could create a new one to go on to my second uh, monitor. You can adjust the size of the icons as well as the zoom size. You can change the background. You can change the transparency along with a bunch of other settings. Um, the effect, you can select which kind of effect you want, whether it's a bubble or none or zoom, which is a default. Or you can get the swing. See the little swingies down there? They swing back and forth, yes. Or there's just the glow. Uh, as far as global settings, you can load it at startup. You can have it automatically hide the taskbar uh, and a number of other effects. But uh, basically, that's it. Now, it doesn't come with very many uh, additional icons, but you can, if you want, head over to wincustomize.com to their object doc area, and you have a multitude of options for different icons, different themes, you name it, it's there. So, yeah, if you're not happy with what you get, go get some more. It's all there. It's a very simple program to use, um, very configurable, which is really nice. You will notice that some of the icons are really kind of crappy looking, and yeah, Stardock, I'm kind of looking at you too, because that's yours. That is not necessarily the fault of Object Doc, but more rather the developers are not including a full range of icons at different resolutions. Um, so really what you're getting there is a small icon being stretched to the larger size. Again, that's not the fault of uh, Object Doc. Uh, so take it up with the developers. Or just change it to a no, much nicer icon that you can get at uh, when customized. Pretty simple that way. And that's basically it, folks. That's Object Doc Plus version 2 from Stardock at stardock.com. And this is Stephen Hodson from WinExtra with Software Unboxing. Take care, everyone. Mm -hmm.